Graffiti is usually seen as something notoriously bad, but Mississauga is using these artists for good. We want them to enjoy their experience when they're going through the parks, when they're driving on our streets. They should take pride in our community, because if the community takes pride in Mississauga, maybe they'll take care of it. Among many other forms of street art, Daniel uses postering, which could also be considered vandalism. The fact that authority figures may not like what I'm doing kind of speaks to why I'm doing it, because I'm covering over something that an authority figure had originally done, and I'm claiming their painting, basically, as art. Even though they're claiming it as a shield to cover up whatever was there before, I'm claiming their shield as an art. It could be considered as vandalism by many, um, which is placed on private property on different areas, on, on property that most often doesn't belong to the person who's, who's doing it. So if we're going to pay a contractor to just go out there and paint block, why wouldn't we pay an artist to do a beautiful mural? The city is using these artists to create murals in an attempt to decrease vandalism and promote the art. Why would you expect uh, someone to do a job for nothing? And it's just been that perception with art that it should be free. So how's someone ever supposed to make a living at it? And it is something, it's important. We know it adds vibrancy to the community. Um, we know it's, um, it's beneficial to the individual, but the benefits to the overall community are even more important. If people are getting commissioned to do a storefront or the side of an apartment building based on a graffiti mural, that's what's going to promote the acceptance worldwide or, or even just locally that graffiti can be a positive thing. For Island Sheridan, I'm Simon Hurst.